because a trust is an entity unto itself that the client is creating, the trust needs to actually own all of the assets that the client wants it to transfer to their beneficiaries. Otherwise, we haven't really accomplished anything. Uh, we can go through 90% of the trust planning and execution process and get all the way to signing the documents. And if we get a signed, completed document, but we haven't funded it, we've actually accomplished almost nothing. We have essentially done what would have been done if somebody had just created a will. We're gonna to go to probate, we're gonna to have to spend a long time getting those assets through the probate process, and then finally transferred into the trust. So if we don't execute a deed and have the deed recorded to transfer the client's real estate into the trust, those assets aren't gonna pass through the trust and they're gonna to have to go through probate. If the client doesn't go to their bank or banks or brokerage institutions, and get their accounts transferred in the name of their trust, then they're not going to have those accounts pass through the trust either. This comes up a lot, I see, when clients go to, say, online drafting services and have a trust drafted and sign it. Um, the trust may even be a document that functions, but the client then doesn't understand how important it is to do the last step and get the document funded and so the trust actually winds up accomplishing almost nothing. So I think that's also a really important reason that going to an attorney to have the trust plant process put into place is far more, is, far, is really important compared to having a client say go online and do it on their own. <laughs>